Hello beef people, I hope you're all doing well. So the Adidas Sambas are finally in. And what I would recommend to you guys if you do want to purchase these is to go to the Adidas website and sign up for your size so you can be notified when it does come back in stock. So Adidas Retail is the only place that supplies these vegan Sambas. So you can't get them from anywhere else. And because they keep going out of stock, you do see some increased prices on the resale market. So my advice is just sign up so that you can be notified. And that's what happened to me. My size came back in stock, got notified. Then I copped a 9.5 and a 10. And on the Adidas website, they do recommend that you size up. So if you normally go for a size nine, then go for a 9.5. And that's exactly what I did. And these fit me perfectly. That was the main reason why it took me so long to actually get these in, but they're here now. And I wanted to put some looks together for you guys just to show you how I would style Adidas Sambas. And with these looks, I've tried to keep things as simple as possible, utilizing items that I know you guys can purchase or recreate the looks quite easily. Let's say for example, a gray sweatshirt or gray hoodie. You can pick that up in so many places, brown trousers, gray trousers. One last thing that I do wanna mention is that majority of the looks are with hats because my hair has just grown out so much. And when I take off my top and put it back on, it's just like messing up my hair. So, so I can't be bothered to keep styling it in between the looks. I'm pretty much in the first look. So let's jump into it. First look, we have the weekday standard joggers in black, our kit oversized tee in lilac, our kit trench coat from the women's section, grey sweatshirt and a nightcap. I like the fact there are different tones and colours in this outfit. I've opted for the lilac tee instead of a white one, just to switch things up and use a bit more colour in my outfits. I think this works nicely with other neutral tones from the trench coat, the sweatshirt, the joggers and the cap. The purple isn't too overpowering so it can fit in seamlessly with this look. I like having the sweatshirt around my neck as a styling piece as it allows me to show off the tee and bring in more colours into the outfit. Even when it's colder and necessary to put on the sweatshirt it works well as it hugs the waistline and it allows you to show off some of the t-shirt at the bottom. In this one we have the thrifted Levi 505 jeans, beige oversized tee from COS, Uniqlo X Jill Saunder bomber jacket and a nightcap. I think this is a really simple clean outfit, one that can be cre recreated quite easily. Even with its simplicity, you've got some really nice colours and tones. Light wash denim blue jeans are a wardrobe essential for me because of their versatility and the added colour they give to any outfit. You can pretty much pair them with any colour, but in this case I've gone with this beige cos t-shirt. Again, this is me trying to move away from white and incorporate other colours into my outfit. Still sticking with a minimalist colour palette as I'm not going with anything too bold, but it's a nice change. Then the outfit is finished off by contrasting elements from the cap and the bomber jacket. I think these two items, although harsh in comparison, complement the outfit well. The bomber jacket is nice and boxy and just sits perfectly at the waistline. Next we have my olive clothing trousers in navy, Uniqlo U shirt, Acne Studio sweatshirt, and a beige nightcap. This is one of my favorite looks, although it's not something I would wear often. The reason I like it is because it's a little different from what I'd usually go with. I like the preppy nature of the outfit, which comes from the use of this shirt in this look, which is then layered with the Acne Studio sweatshirt. It's also great how the Sambas allow this look to appear more casual, as if you were to swap them out for a pair of loafers, the look would completely change. This is a look which I believe lies somewhere in between smart casual. Plenty of contrasting elements within this outfit too, but of course, as we're sticking with the monochrome colours, they all work well together. For legwear here, we have the olive clothing trousers, this time in black. Finally, we do have a white tee in the form of the Uniqlo dry colour tee, this Arkit high neck quarter zip sweatshirt, and then my ASOS tote bag to finish things off. A little break from caps slash hats in this one. This outfit is simple and clean. There isn't too much going on in terms of colours here, but it's a good one as if you're ever not too sure what to wear, a pair of black trousers and a white tee always works well. My favourite elements are the sweatshirt and the tote bag. The sweatshirt because I really like the cream slash off-white, even with the subtle differences in shade to white, I think they can really help to alter the look of an outfit and make it that little bit more interesting. And the tote bag for the change and aesthetic that they give to any outfit find the right one with a really nice shape and you're winning. Weekday standard joggers and this time in grey. 
Uniqlo dry fit tee in white, weekday shirt cardigan, Sperry tote bag and Zara beanie to finish off this look. Again I'm going with a sporty athletic look which is probably an obvious way to style sambas. Nonetheless you don't want to live in trousers and jeans all day so elevating your comfy looks is essential and I think I've done just that by opting for a cardigan rather than your typical sweatshirt or hoodie that you'd normally pair your joggers with. The cardigan still offers a casual aesthetic but one that is a little more thoughtful and well put together. Think Sunday lunch or going to meet some friends for a coffee. Here we have the Zara wide leg trousers, black Uniqlo dry colour tee, a leather jacket and then the forest green New York Yankees cap from New Era. I like this look a lot because of the harsh contrast that you get from the black and the beige which is complemented nicely by the sambas and of course the pop of colour that we have from the green new era cap. I really have an appreciation for leather jackets and how they can really alter the whole mood of an outfit. I think opting for this jacket helps to make this a little more smarter than it appears. And then you have the green from the cap which plays into those autumnal vibes. It's a simple and effective outfit and one that I'm probably going to be wearing variations of throughout the autumn winter months ahead. The Arctic wool trousers from the women's section, black oversized tee, this is a random blank that I picked up from somewhere I can't even remember, and then the Dickies Eisenhower jacket. This outfit is very basic and there's not too much to it. You've got the joggers in this lovely wool material which help to keep me warm in the autumn winter months, but the colour of them is the main focal point as it offers something different in this yellowish colour which provide a great contrasting element to the black and the white in this look. I've opted for an oversized tee on this occasion and tucked it in just to mix things up in terms of variety when it comes to the fits of my tees. The tee isn't too oversized so I think it works well tucked in and then the workwear jacket which I think is a perfect complement to Adidas Sambas. Keeping it greyish in this one, washed black jeans from weekday, Uniqlo Aerism tee in off-white, running hoodie in grey and then a nightcap. I've already talked about the effect that off-white slash cream can have to an outfit and I think it can be seen here too, especially given that there isn't any real colour in this look. I like this tee and what it brings to this outfit. Similarly, I think the jeans are tremendous and the way they fully break on the sambas is beautiful, giving off them real streetwear vibes. Then we have an oversized slouchy hoodie, which is cropped nicely but not too much, again giving us that streetwear aesthetic and elements. Next we have the Ken Joggers in brown, polar skate t-shirt, washed black vintage denim jacket and a green new era cap again. We all know about the Ken Joggers and even though black ones are great, I think these brown ones are probably the best colour. Brown is the new black and I definitely want a lot more of it in my wardrobe. Some nice simple contrasting elements again but all working together nicely from the white of the sambas and the polar skate tee with some nice graphics on the front and the back to the darker elements of the wash black denim jacket and the forest green cap. I'm probably going to label this look as my favourite one from the shades, cuts, silhouettes, contrast and complementing colour palettes. It seems the most complete look. Last look we have the Ross weekday trousers in black, Uniqlo dry colour tee in white, running hoodie in black, Arctic trench coat and H&M bucket hat. Probably one of your standard looks with the colour combination of black, white and beige but you can never go wrong with said combo. I really like the element of the weekday trousers as they give off that skater vibe. I think they work well with trainers like Sambas which is why I opted for them. When I add in the running hoodie this further plays into that skater aesthetic as we've removed slash covered the smarter elements of the tee tucked into the trousers. Yes, my beautiful people, those are my 10 looks for styling Adidas Sambas. Let me know in the comment section below which one was your favorite look. I'm most likely gonna put most of these looks on Pinterest, but you can do the same. Take screenshots, use them as inspiration. As I always say to you guys, if you are trying on some outfits, then make sure you just take pictures of them so that you can remember the outfits. And that's exactly what I do, especially with Pinterest save a lot of outfits that give me a lot of inspiration hope you guys enjoyed that one make sure you like and subscribe but other than that i'll see you in the next one peace